Hi, my name is Kate. I'm also known as Two Little Kids on the internet. Welcome to my eighth costume. I also have a special guest who's very tired. One sec, come here. This is Archie. If you follow me on Instagram, you will have seen um, a reel of him and you may have been recommended his Instagram page because I'm very lame and I made an Instagram page for him. But he's an eight week old Siberian Husky. We've been waiting for about five months to get a Husky. And yeah, he's, he's a bit, no. Oh. He, he's got a bit of separation anxiety because he's a COVID puppy and he's teething and mouthy like a regular puppy. So he's got a bit of, a, he's got a bully stick while I can, uh, record this. Anyway, welcome to my eighth floss tube. Like I said, hopefully we don't get interrupted too much. Let's get started. So I know this is a little late, but puppy, I kind of lost track of which weeks were which. I think he's decided to fall asleep under my chair. Anyway, I got, yeah, lost track of time and the weeks and realized this morning, which is Monday the 18th, that I was supposed to have a floss tube video up and, and ready to go. So my apologies, probably gonna end up posting this tomorrow, which will be the 19th, which is a Tuesday. But anyway, I've got stuff to share and I've got, I probably have things I wanna talk about, but right now I'm getting a mental blank, but that's okay. I guess you could say I have mummy brain because there's a puppy. I'm not allowed to move my chair. He's decided to fall asleep under the wheels. Okay then. Anyway, I guess the first thing that I can talk about is those of you who stitch and have had a puppy or have a puppy, I guess, at the moment, give me tips on how to stitch and take care of said puppy because I feel like all I'm doing right now is watching to make sure that he doesn't have an accident in the house, which there have been numerous. It's been, I think, 10 years since I had to deal with the puppy stage of having a dog so I'm a little bit rusty and this is the second dog that I've ever owned so I'm definitely a, a novice still uh, my husband not so much but he's he's busy working during the days so I'm kind of in charge of puppiness uh, I also have so much that I need to do so yeah give me tips and tricks please I beg you I next want to give you some good news my house portrait that I showed you all last time that I think I don't think I had it mounted for the floss tube I just had it on a I just had it as a fabric that got delivered on the weekend so massive load of off my mind uh, I paid a premium for the insurance through sh with shipping because I did not want to deal with having to restitch that and being completely and utterly screwed out of pocket. So it arrived and my customer loves it and he's excited to gift it to his grandmother. So that's exciting. Um, I, I'm not going to ask, but I kind of hope that he takes a reaction video and sends it to me. Fingers crossed. <laughs> the next thing I want to talk about is uh, my works in progress. I've got a lot of things in the works at the moment. One of them, I'm really hoping that the person it's for doesn't follow me because it's, or follow my YouTube at least, because I know that she follows my Instagram because it is for a gift exchange. And I have a feeling that where I'm at with it now, she'd be able to figure out that it's for her. But anyway, I'll show you that one first. So it is a Stitch People project. It is a family of six, so I'm just fixing my needle minder. And this is where it's at right now. I have been kind of powering through this actually. It's gonna have some writing up the top here, which is why it's it's slanted with um, the heights. Usually I do like the sort of triangle shape of people's heights to make it nice and even, but I wanted to do writing up the top here rather than underneath, just, just to kind of mix things up a little bit. But yeah, that's coming along nicely and I'm almost done with all the cross stitching. This one is gonna have a little bit of turkey work 
for the dad's beard because he's got like a pretty bushy beard. Uh, but yeah, I'm, I'll be almost done with the, once I've done the cross stitching, I'll be able to do all the detailing, like, like the dresses and the shirts and shoes and mouths and things like that. And then I'll get onto hair and that'll be done. That'll be good. But that's been, that's been really nice to work on because it's very simple. I, I like this stage of a Stitch People project where it's it's all the cross stitching. I just, I like cross stitching. What can I say? But it's just soothing to just do the cross stitching and then it starts to get more complicated when I get all, into all the detailing and then more nerve wracking when I get to the hair. So yeah, so that one's coming along nicely. I've been working on that one for about a week right now. The next one is my tree portrait which the tree is getting there. I took a break from the people and I've been working on the tree itself. So I've got, I've got my next color on my needle for the, the French knots in the tree, but that's coming along nicely. I don't think the people have changed since the last time I, I showed you guys this, but the tree has come along a lot, which is great. And they'll be riding up here, which is why there's a big gap. But that's coming along nicely and I can't wait for this one to be done. I just, I want to take all the photos of it. So that'll be great. The next one is I've done a little bit of work on this piece. This is Satsuma Street's Pretty Little Sydney. Uh, I haven't done a lot of work on it. I just, I picked it up one afternoon and wanted to do a little bit of stitching on it. I did a little bit of the, the green that I'm up to. So that's coming along nicely. Um, yeah, I haven't, like I said, I haven't done a lot on it, uh, but I didn't show it off last week, I believe. It was just sitting here, this is where it sits in here. And it was just sitting there the whole video. And while I was editing, I was like, dang it. Anyway, that's coming along. And the last thing I want to share is uh, a lot of things. <laughs> so I'm still plodding along with all of my Christmas ornament orders. My last stream I decided to stream myself stitching hair because that's what I'm up to at the moment so I want to show you at least the three that have the hair finished or super close to being finished so we've got this one with Henry and Graham this one with Cora and Theo which Came out really nice. I I needed his hair to have like a swoop. Hopefully that comes through on in, in this lighting. Uh, and she's got very crazy wavy hair. So I think that's come out really nice too. And then this one with Erin and Olivia. So she's got super, super curly hair. So I did it as all little bullion stitches. Hopefully that yeah, it looks like it's focused on it. Um, so that, that feels really cool and it looks really cool. And this one, I know that you won't be able to see it, but this actually has on this side a tiny little plait. Uh, I gotta do a bow in her hair on this side, but there's a tiny plait with, that uses three strands of floss that goes from her part all the way down. And I've actually got to trim the little end so that it's nice and flush with the rest of her hair. But, so those are the three that I've done hair with. I haven't worked on any ornaments since I streamed on Thursday because I've been working on, on these two these two pieces while I've been out because hair kind of is really picky, I find, or I make it picky because I want to make sure it's the colors that are closest to the person's hair. So I need to, I, I really need to work with my my box of, of hair swatches which I will show you now so these are all my hair basically so I've got blacks and dark greys I've got lighter greys I've got redheads uh, blondes this is denim and like miscellaneous sort of like I think like pets and stuff like that and then this is random ones that I've kept some of them are from when I like I started doing Stitch People projects and and I thought well I've already put these together I'm gonna save it as a swatch I don't know why but 
I did that. But there's also like camo and I've got this one, which is tattoo colors. Yeah, as you, as you can see, this is tattoo colors and it's just basically like a couple of strands of, of random colors that I had extras of back in 2018 and, and I saved it, so logic. But yeah, so this has been really helpful and I, I add to it constantly. Like there's not all of my colors are in here. Like I've got, I've got this bundle of, of threads that there's like browns and there's denims in that because I did the with this one, two of them are denim. I've just bumped my computer and it's turned my screen back on. Um, yeah, so that, that was from when I was doing denim on this and I've got hair already picked out for this one and yeah. So that's not all of the little color swatches that I have, but that's a lot of them. And, and like I said, I, I keep adding to them because sometimes I just cannot find the right combination that I've already made up for someone's hair. Uh, like this one, his hair, I didn't, I didn't have an orange color like that, so I made one up. So, yeah. But I'll, I'll quickly run through the other ones that I've done because I'm super proud of these. And I will put a link to be able to skip all of this if you're not interested, but... Uh, so the, the, everybody else has bald hair. But they're all coming along nicely, and I'm really proud of a lot of the pets. Pets are like really tricky. I really like this this dog, how it's come out. Um, pets are as tricky, if not more trickier than people, believe it or not, because there's just not a lot of room to do all the details. This is my brother, this one. Uh, my brother and I do not look anything alike. I look like my mum and he looks like our dad. I look like our mum and he looks like our dad uh, and they look completely different so he's got like fully bushy beard and like a, a white man's afro so um, I'll be doing turkey work on his his piece and the last one so yeah, they're all coming along nicely. Oh, that one's got a stray strand of something. So they're all coming along great. I mean, I'm still enjoying them. I still have available, I think, two slots on Kofi if you want to order your own ornament. I'm going to be removing those pretty soon. So if you want to get on it quickly before I change my mind, basically. But yeah, those are coming along great. I, I think I will likely do ornaments again next year but I definitely won't do them any later than I did this year so September 1st promoting it initially because it's been it's been great to do them but now that I'm into the details and the more complex and difficult part which is hair and then eventually it'll be like decorations around the sides, it's a bit more stressful and a bit more difficult to sit down and work on them. Whereas similar to what I was saying with this one, the cross stitching part was great. That was really easy. Like doing all the skin tones was really fast because a lot of them, I, I had like, I probably had about seven different skin tones across all 13 ornaments, but I only needed seven colors if that, if that was which you know is not a lot of color changing so it was really fast anyway my point being I will likely do something like a, a Christmas in July thing that uh, a lot of my friends did this year where they started taking ornament orders back in July and that would give me the opportunity to to do some and then take on some more if I wanted to do that in September or even start of October or something like that so yeah that's all the things that I have going on in the in the in the meantime. Uh, that's stitching related. I do have one more pattern that I'm currently working on. Uh, that is is just the pattern. I'm not actually stitching it. Dog is completely conked out under my chair. So moving on to the next thing, it will be uh, finished pieces. So I only have one finished thing this time around, and I'm going to run a image. Of it because it's a pattern 
which is pretty cool. So a friend of mine that I have on Instagram, she also does Stitch People portraits. She commissioned me to do this pattern for one of her portraits that she's doing. She just wasn't confident in actually making the pattern for this RV. So that was pretty cool and definitely something that I'm open to, to doing and talking about if you are a stitcher and you want to outsource some of your work. I can't do the stitch people themselves because stitch people, the company, have copyright over their patterns. So if there's an element, like I, I will also run a, a graphic that I did six months ago, I think now, uh, of a church that uh, someone commissioned me to make. They they wanted it as a background to a Stitch People piece. So that was also pretty cool. I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm happy to, to talk about helping you out with patterns. It's been a different change of pace. It's, it's not as flexible in how I can work on it because obviously I need to be on either my computer or my Surface tablet, but that's not a problem. That's why I have these tools available to me. Obviously having a puppy makes it a little bit more difficult. You know, he's gonna have to learn and I'm gonna have to adapt, so we'll get there. A couple of things that I wanna share as like a kinda, this is gonna happen. So I, I have no idea if I've shared this in a previous week or not, but anyway, we're gonna do it again if that's the case. I have, I know I talked last week, last fortnight about stitch alongs and all of what I said still stands but I can't remember if I mentioned that I do have tentative plans to do a stitch along in December. Uh, I say tentative because I still haven't digitized the pattern. And once I've digitized it, I can then start stitching it and then I can start the process of getting the stitch along ready. So anyway, this is my winter vibes piece, which will have either 12 or 13, I'm quickly counting, 12 or 13 uh, different stitches in it. It's not gonna look like this. This is how I start all of my stitch longs. I get a circle ready and I get ideas, like just go ideas. And that's why I need to digitize it because I then trace my ideas in the computer and then I can move them around and actually make them look good, so. This is ugly as hell right now because <laughs> I am not a good drawer, but the idea is here. So I just need to get it in the computer and, and work my magic on it basically. So keep an eye out for this. It's kind of a companion stitch to my Summer Vibes, which is this piece here. So this was a stitch along I did back in June. Yes, no, yes, June. And this, I liked the idea of this more than the execution, I'll be honest. I had grand plans, I had it in my head that it would be really popular, and honestly it wasn't as popular as I hoped. You live and learn. Anyway, so this one, it's going to be a companion stitch to this piece, but I think it's going to be a lot more uh, I think it's going to be more interesting. I think it's going to have more reach for people. That it'll just be more enticing. I don't know. I feel like people decorate their houses for non-summer. If that makes sense. Mostly for autumn and winter. Or fall, sorry. Because I'm in America. And so this is a winter piece. Fingers crossed. Anyway. Keep an eye out if you don't already follow me on Instagram. Um, I'll be posting about it on there. I, I need to, as a sidetrack, I need to get my Facebook page up to date and up to speed with where I'm at over on Instagram because that page is lacking. Uh, it's just, it's frustrating to make graphics for different platforms and I find Instagram a lot easier to, to create graphics for and it's just a bit more, it's more accessible. It's easier to have the conversations with people than it is on Facebook based on the apps that I have. I think it probably would be easier to keep up with conversations on Facebook if I had an Apple product, to be quite honest. I think it's the, the Android aspect that just makes it 
really difficult. I don't know. I just find it hard to be notified appropriately when someone has commented on something of mine over on Facebook. I don't know. I think I must have my settings wrong or something. I don't know. I can, whatever. I'll check that out. And anyway, another pattern that I have in mind is what I'm calling boho bouquet, boutique, bleh. boho bouquet. <laughs> it's really hard to say actually. Um, and this is just a, a vase with flowers uh, and it's gonna have eight different stitches and this will be similar to my Just Breathe piece where I will provide different color options and it will likely not be free like the Just Breathe piece but I think this one might be one of my first embroidery pattern only pieces maybe not a stitch along I had this idea in my head one day and I just like pfft, put it out on a piece of paper so I think it's pretty hopefully people do as well and the other one I have is what I'm calling cheery bouquet I thought I wrote cherry bouquet um, and this one looks really awful but it's because I've done shorthand uh, on the pieces themselves. This one is definitely not going to be a stitch along. This one is going to be a pattern plus video tutorial piece. And this one will likely come before the one with the vase. So yeah, so I've been doing some sketching just whenever I have like an idea in my head, I try and get it down because otherwise it just disappears and never comes back. Plus I have, I have a hoop ready. <laughs> Anyway, so that's some things that I have planned regarding new patterns and new things to, to spend your money on, I guess. I have a cross stitch pattern that I've asked one of my test stitches to stitch up. That one I've been working on for a couple of months and I was going through my computer the other night and looking at sort of the work in progress patterns that I had that I could pick up and, and kind of put finishing touches on. And so I did that and it only took me like 15 minutes. So I got it the, the PDF ready and reached out to my two test stitches. And yeah, one of them was like, yes, please. So that's awesome. That'll happen maybe sometime this year. I don't know. I've, I've said to her, don't rush because there's no rush. I've got so much other stuff going on right now that finding time to list something is daunting. <laughs> but yeah, uh, that, that'll be cool. Uh, I've got another pattern that is finished that I want to stitch up. So that will happen likely next year. I think I mentioned this piece. I'm not going to talk about it too much because I think it's really cool and I want to keep it kind of a secret. I think I talked about it in a previous stitch, in a previous floss tube, but, um, it's not going to happen this year because I've got too many things going on, I think. I'll, I'll probably start it this year, but it's not going to be done this year. But I think that's everything. If you've got any questions, if you've got any comments, if you just want to say hey, leave a comment below. Don't forget to like the video and share it with your friends. That'd be great. I know my floss tube is a little bit different from a lot of people's. I do watch floss tube videos occasionally and I'm kind of jealous of the views that a lot of people get on like their first video and stuff. I, I don't know what I'm doing wrong. Um, I don't know. <laughs> but um, yeah, I know that mine are a little bit different because I talk about my own patterns and my own work and I don't stitch a lot of people's, like other people's patterns, which I assume maybe that's why I don't get as much interaction as other floss tubers do, but maybe one day someone will find me and be like, hey, this this person's pretty cool. Who knows? Anyway, dog's asleep. I was gonna show him off again, but maybe I should anyway. Well, he's a sleepy boy. He's a sleepy boy. <laughs> Mm-hmm. <laughs>
No. I forgot how difficult puppies were. But they're not this size forever. Especially this. This one. He's gonna be big. I was looking at how big huskies get, how quickly, and he's gonna be so big in, like, even in the next floss tube, he will have grown so much. So I'm kind of picking him up as much as I can, and I know I probably shouldn't, it's gonna probably bite me in the butt, but um, he's so little right now, and I love him so much. So yeah, this is Archie. He was obviously grumpy before, but now he's just sleepy. But anyway, I will see you all next time. And don't forget to, to stay awesome and be cool and enjoy stitching and don't stress too much about all of your holiday orders or gifts or, or pieces. So 